Right. After the primary election 10 days ago, we asked, who is Tommy Schrader? Then, where is Tommy Schrader? As we found out earlier this week, the unknown Democratic nominee for Fort Wayne City Council spent the past two months in another state. Well, today, the Allen County Election Board questioned whether Schrader can legally run for office. News Channel 15's Drew Blair is here to continue our coverage of the board's investigation. Drew? If a ruling by the election board stands, Tommy Schrader won't be a name you'll see on the ballot in November. All I've received from people around the hotel and the truck stop in Fort Wayne is encouragement. Some people encouraged Tommy Schrader. Others questioned him. There is a motion on the table. Um, it's been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The Allen County Election Board voted today on a challenge made by Schrader's own party. Is he a legal resident who is eligible to campaign in Fort Wayne? I certainly didn't see this coming in terms of the decision we made. The jobless and once homeless political hopeful surprised the room during questioning. He admitted to living in Green Bay, Wisconsin since March. Did you register to vote in Green Bay? Yeah. You registered to vote up there? Mm -hmm. I did vote in the mayor's race. Right? You can't vote in one city and run for office in another. That reasoning isn't good enough for Schrader, though, since he says his time in Wisconsin was a vacation. Do most people vote on vacation? Yeah, I didn't vote in two elections, so it's not illegal. But you voted in somewhere you're considering a vacation spot. Still, I didn't vote here, so it's not illegal. Schrader now plans to appeal the board's decision. I think I got a strong case. We're going to take it to circuit court. Um, what I really need is legal um, representation. I'm going to sue them. If I can sue the city, I will. To the election board. A lawsuit isn't the only thing Schrader threatened. After this morning's meeting, he sat to the side and mumbled that he wanted to find out where members of the Allen County Election Board lived. Then I heard him say, I've done it before, God. What do you mean by that? Uh, I plead the fifth. Those are uh, disconcerting and a little frightening. Um, that, that did not go to our decision by any means in terms of is this person a resident or eligible to be a candidate. Uh, those are issues that we'll just have to deal with um, outside of this hearing. Unless Schrader's appeal is successful, the Allen County Democratic Party chairman will appoint a candidate to take his place on the ballot in November. Drew Blair, News Channel 15.